That's right. In celebration of National Pina Colada Day, we're going to shake some up ourselves. I want to welcome Mercedes Garrett, owner of Raise the Bar. We're going to welcome her back. Hey. This is a bar that comes to you. This experience is really custom to your all whoever, the way whoever wants to have some cocktails at home. Yes, absolutely. And today you guys chose pina coladas. Hey. All right. Hey, pina we have colada to day. I love it. Paul's going to start so. off with the classic pina colada, which I feel yes. mm -hmm. for the summertime could be a great option. Yeah, and I have a feeling even though it's going to be traditional, it's not going to be boring. Not going to be boring ever. We don't do that here. <laughs> right, exactly. No, exactly, exactly, exactly. Right. Okay. Tell them. Tell them. So what's the first thing I need to do? <laughs> okay, Mercedes? awesome. So of course, the main thing that you want to remember when it comes to your pina coladas is it's all about the base. So whenever you're making okay. your pina base, you want to put pineapple, orange juice, okay. and pina colada mix. We've okay. already made that with a little bit of coconut rum here, but mm -hmm. you absolutely don't have to include that. So Paul, you're gonna grab your pina colada mix okay. and we're gonna do a big side and a little side. That's big side two and to a one. little size, okay. Yes, and we're gonna pour it right on top of the ice. So does that mean three shots, basically? Is that um, what? It's not necessarily three shots. This is gonna be a total of um, two and a half ounces of oh, okay. your Coco Real. Okay. So that's some on-screen recipes as well. Okay, so. Awesome. So in the pina mix, you just wanna do equal parts. Pina Coco Real, um, the OJ, and the pineapple juice. I'm you want to have all of those. Yes, yes. Right. Taking, taking notes. And that's right? all taking that's notes. in here. Yes, that's all that's okay. in there. And I added a little coconut rum for you guys, okay. so you're already going to get a buzz this morning. But you were that's saying. Okay. <laughs> that's all right. wow. You know what? Why turn down? I mean, yes. it sounds good to me. But I like that you yes. were saying you don't have to add the rum because you people do a mocktail to. for the kids if they want to feel like. Absolutely. You know. And that's something that we offer too. We always do our batches non alcoholic so that way everyone can join in the party. Okay. And then So then you're going to take your ounce and a half of the pineapple juice, add that in there as well. Well, I like that little beaker. Look at that. They're so neat, right? All right, so the best way to make your perfect mm -hmm. cocktail is to build it in the glass you want to drink it out of. This is how you're going to get the perfect proportions. Okay. Once you have that in there, go ahead and put it in your shaker, and wow, we're going to That's a good tip. All right. I need to do that. I have a little shaker at home, so I think I need to start yeah. doing so, that. So Toss that way, that you've got it all set up, and then you shake it. Yeah. And how, how, how long should you shake it? Um, chicken is really just how you feel. So you want to give a nice hard shake so you get a good froth on top. Yep. And that should be about good. Yeah, you look really good. Look, yeah. He's flexing. What I like to see is shake those hips for the tips. Oh! Yeah. oh, oh okay, okay, all right. You're showing it. You're I'm going, so I'm going, I'm going, going we're gonna go long. Yeah. <laughs> all right, awesome. So you do have a choice to always rim your glass. Some okay. people like coconut, some people like sugar. I don't like anything on my rim. I don't think Paul does either. So, so we're, we're just back where we started. Right. Back to where we started. Uh, oh, okay. We toss it right back Smells into that glass. Really and you good, have yo. a perfect wow. pina colada right there. Wow. Take that taste. Oh. Take that taste. Okay. Oh, don't forget to garnish. Yes. Yes. Don't forget to garnish. You got to make it look pretty. Yes. So okay. you're going to do pineapple and then a little cherry oh. on top. Okay, a little pineapple. A little piña for the yes, piña colada. And a little cherry on top. Absolutely. And a little cherry. Wow, that was that. beautiful. It's beautiful. Yes. Now, what does it taste like? Let's, Let's see. see. It should be delicious. Paul made it, though, if it's not. <laughs> so you won't take any blame. That is really good. He took a step back. back. Oh, I mean, yeah, that yeah, is yeah. really good. That's usually what we hear whenever we're serving custom cocktails that you guys choose because we tailor to your specific taste. So cool. perfect. But, you know, no. I didn't know that there are different types of piña coladas. I yes. Mean, I'm just used to yeah, that. I so. thought there was just one. Oh, no. Not oh, today, no. Paul. Okay. I'm going to prove it right There are so many different varieties of piña coladas. We can do a key lime one. If okay. you're into key lime pie, as Roma's already prepared for that, okay. we're going to go ahead and make that next. So, Roma, okay. you're going to take your pina mix as well on top of your cup of ice over here. Correct. Okay, let me move this one. We're going to go Florida style. Yes. All right. All right. So, there, is this there the same we had, as that? We had a full two and a half right there. Okay. We just let Paul use this shiny silver, but you're using the cute beakers over here. Sounds good. And then you're going to take your sweetened lime juice. Now, this is just equal parts key lime juice. You want to squeeze one whole lime Whoa. and then simple syrup mixed in there. That is one to one ounce. Wow. Top that off, okay. and same, and then you're gonna take your vanilla. Now you can substitute mm. this for vanilla rum. It's a little sweet for me, so I do uh -huh. two dashes of vanilla two there. Two dashes, okay. And you're just gonna cute little dash. dash. Doop. You're cute. Awesome. You're cute. Vanilla, you're cute. Yeah. Might drink you later. Okay. <laughs> what, All right, right. What, what, what an ugly dash looks like. Okay, that was a cute dash. All right. Toss that right into your shaker aroma and get to shake it. I want to smell this. Mm -mm -mm. This is right up my alley. I love lime, so. Yes, key lime is something that's really good for the summer. If you want to serve a dessert drink, this is a really good option, too. This has got summer written all over it. I mean, you really wouldn't want this like in December, you know? I mean, I could probably have it anytime. Anytime. There you go. Major right. help. I thought I could do it. that off. Make sure we're clear okay. there. And then you want to pour that right into your, do right you into the same glass. Do you need me to do the... Um, if you'd like to have yes, coconut on there, yes, absolutely. So go ahead and rim that with your pineapple. I don't and then think I've gonna, ever seen uh, that before. E e there we go. Put so a little bit a little of... Little um, stick on there, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, so this is our brown coconut. It adds a little crispy sweet flake on the rim of the glass there. Uh, yeah. It's definitely adding a little crunch. Some people nice. like their coconuts okay. a little crunchy. So. Roman, look, you've done that yes. before. Yeah. And then of course, we are doing on the rocks pina coladas, guys, but you can always toss this right into a blender, blend it up, and then you have a frozen oh, summer sipper. I'm gonna get Top really it off with your garnish, I and mean, then what you do put you a little key you? lime twist <gasps> as yeah. well. How oh, look at that. Perfect, and if you really wanna get creative, you can add a piece of key lime pie. There's literally a piece oh, yeah. of key lime pie you know, in this I one. Was, I was thinking that, but isn't that a, that's a lot. It's a lot in a drink, yes, but I mean, if you're doing just like a liquid diet, yeah. good to go. A liquid? Okay, <laughs> all right. How can folks find out more? Awesome. So if you want to find out any more about our recipes or our services, guys, go to our website, bringthebar2letteru.com, or find us on Instagram at bringthebartm. Well, this, this is absolutely is, delicious. I, we like it? I want you to try mine, cheers. but I know. I'm like, why yeah, are you yeah, here? Fine. Thanks for being well, with yeah, us. Well, yeah, we're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. We're Thank you yeah. so much for being with yeah. us, Paul. Thank you guys this for having me back again. Great refresher for today. I can't think of anything better when it's 101 outside. Yeah. This, will, this will do the trick right here. So